we want to simplify this expression completely. 6x to the negative 2y to the 5th over 2y to the negative 3, z to the negative 11, and the whole thing raise it to the negative 3. We could do it in two ways. We can bring the negative 3 exponents inside the parentheses and then simplify. Or we can simplify whatever inside the parentheses first and then bring in the negative 3 exponent. In this case, it would be easier to simplify whatever inside the parentheses first because we see that inside the parentheses, we can simplify. So let's see what happens. It would become 6 over 2 that give us 3. x to the negative 2 stay the same. y to the fifth over y to the negative 3. That would become y raise it to the 5 minus negative 3. And z to the negative 11 is in the denominator. So we can bring it up and make it become z to the 11. And then the whole thing raise it to the negative 3. Simplify whatever inside the parentheses a little bit more. And we will have y to the 5 minus negative 3. That becomes 5 plus 3, which is 8 as the exponent. And z to the 11, and the whole thing raise it to the negative 3. And now we are going to bring the negative 3 exponent into every single factor inside the parentheses. So we have 3 to the negative 3 times x to the negative 2 and raise it to the negative 3 times y to the 8, raise it to the negative 3 times z to the 11 and raise it to the negative 3. Simplify more. 3 to the negative 3, x raise it to the negative 2, then raise it to the negative 3. That will become x raise it to the negative 2 times negative 3. We times the exponents together. So we have 6 times y raise it to the 8 times negative 3. So we have negative 24 times z to the 11 times negative 3. So we have negative 33. And now we do have some negative exponent. We cannot leave it like that. We will have to take care of the negative exponent. So let's see what happened. x to the 6, it stays the same, it's positive exponent. While 3 raise it to the negative 3, we will bring it down to the denominator, make it become 3 cubed times y to the negative 4, it will become 1 over y to the 24, so we bring this down to the denominator, and then times z to the 33. And now one more thing we could do, 3 cubed, we know that would be 27, so that would give us x to the 6 over 27, y to the 24, z to the 33.